It started with a packathon in Raleigh and Atlanta. Hundreds of pounds of rice, oats, dried milk, all boxed by friends for new friends in Russia. We left RDU International on a Friday. Most of us packed some food of our own in case our host families were running low. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, going into uh, Moscow, we're about 120 miles out this time. Raleigh Mayor Pro Tem Anne Franklin was our leader. The most exciting thing about it is the personal contact with families, the ability to be in people's homes and to see what their daily lives are like. After spending the night in the plane, Anne and the rest of us were peeking out the windows at this strange frozen land, ready to meet our host families and help distribute all that food. The weather there is uh, it's clear skies, it's uh, minus 12 degrees, and uh, winds are out of the north at about eight. We braced ourselves for the frigid air and for whatever might be in store for 20 Americans who spoke maybe 30 words of Russian between us. This is the Moscow link in this food chain. It's the Friendship House, where they coordinate distribution of the food from America. The Friendship House connected us with Vladimir Kozlov. We stayed in his home and brought him 100 pounds of food. He called several neighbors and gave away what he didn't need. We met Martha Silvestrova, a 91-year-old widow on a pension. Vladimir gave her some oats and canned meat. Thank you, thank you, she says. This woman needs few words to communicate. Martha told us communism caused the economic problems now facing her country. She looks forward to the new leadership in Russia. Uh, because now uh, our government without communist. Mm -hmm. So she is very hopeful for the yes, future? Yes, yes, hopeful. She still keeps a picture of her husband on the wall. He died in World War II and she's struggled ever since. She says she really appreciates the gift of food from Vladimir. We shared a piece of meat and some grain. She gave us a piece of her history, a richness of emotion we won't soon forget.